What is up everyone? Welcome to another vlog. So I feel so weird filming these vlogs because in my head, first of all, I'm pre-filming. So knowing that means that this video may go live and I have already like had this baby. So that mentally is odd to me, but I know that that is just the reality of trying to pre-film a bit before I take some time off. So anyway, before I even get the questions, because if I saw someone wearing this, I'd be like, where is it from? American Eagle, I love it. It's just like this corduroy, like oversized thing. It works for maternity, but it's not a maternity shirt. I asked for it for Christmas. I don't know why I can't remember who got it for me, but I think it was Tyler, because I don't think I would have sent this link to anyone else. Anyway, I love it. It's so cute and comfy and just like oversized and you can wear it with camisole or whatever. Anyway, so today we are at the workspace and we have Miss Genevieve with us. So it always makes for a very interesting, basically half work day, because Tyler will keep an eye on her for half the time. I'll keep an eye on her for the other half so we can each get some uninterrupted time. But it's always interesting. Like I said, it just is weird. So while I'm filming this, just for reference for you, I am 36 weeks pregnant. And so, I mean, I would hope I don't go into labor anytime until like a couple weeks from now. But the reality is that, of course, it really could happen at any time. So it's just bizarre to think that like that I we were walking with Pinocchio and with Genevieve just a little bit ago, just like after lunch for a nice walk because it's like 60 degrees and sunny out, which is amazing. Anyway, so we were on our little walk and I was like, this could be one of the last times we do this with just us. And then I get emotional and then I need, <laughs> we have to stop talking about it. And then anyway, but I've been like trying to be like, let's take a picture together. All of us like over and over again. Cause I'm like, these are just some of these last moments. So I'm trying to just soak them in. Like I said, I can't talk about it too long cause it really does make me emotional, but that's what's going on. I need some coffee and we got like an hour or two left before we are heading home. All right, it is now Tuesday. Pinocchio is feeling, he doesn't look like it cause he's sleepy, but he's feeling so much better. He saw our other vlogs. He's like back to his old self. You feeling better? He said, I'm just so exhausted from being a dog, you guys. I'm just so tired. Mm, squishy boy. So poor little Miss Gigi is not going to school today because she has bronchitis. So fun. She is one of those kids that's so prone to it though. Like if she gets a cold, it always ends in something much worse than the cold originally was, whether it's an ear infection. So then she got tubes in her ears that helped big time. I don't think she's had an ear infection since then, which is great. Or she gets a sinus infection, which she totally gets from me. Or like this time she got bronchitis. Maybe it's technically bronchiolitis, like for since it's for younger kids, I don't know. Regardless, so she's got some steroids and stuff we're uh, told to give her and she's feeling better, but the cough is still so bad. I'm like, I'm not sending her to school and letting her infect all the other kids too. So she's here with us and we're getting some stuff done around the house and stuff, which is good because there's plenty of things to get done around here. I would like to label all of, not all, but some of the nursery. Um, I didn't do that with Genevieve's nursery, but I was thinking about I'm like, I felt like a lot of the time Tyler would be like, where do we put this or where do we keep it? And I'm like, it might just be la nice to label like where things are. Plus I have a label maker. Like I always need an excuse to use it. So there's that, but uh, yeah. And then I also need to place a grocery order. And speaking of the grocery order, a portion of this video is kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. We'll get into that in just a little bit. But for now, I actually, I need to refill my coffee and then I have my lip glosses from my lip gloss declutter. These are all the ones I kept and I need to actually put them back in my makeup collection. Here they all are in all their glory. I really, I got rid of like half in that video, literally like half my collection, which is amazing. Another mundane task, grabbing all the rugs from around the house. I mean, this is just some of them and washing them in the washer desperately needs to be done. <laughs> All right, lip glosses are in there. Eventually future declutters are like the rest of my lip things, like lipsticks and stuff. But that was one that these were so overflowing. So this is a good feeling. Oh, all right, so I need to place my grocery order. I've got my computer right here and I figured I would just take you along because I don't know, why not, man? I show you everything else. As I mentioned a minute ago, this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. So I wanted to show you what it looks like on the Thrive Market site, how I, I use it, my husband uses it, and we're actually gonna place an order today because we genuinely are out of a lot of our staples. So if you've never heard of Thrive Market, it is an online membership-based marketplace, grocery store. I mean, they sell everything, you guys. Food, pet stuff, baby stuff, kid stuff 
makeup, beauty. And a lot of times when I talk about Thrive Market in a video, I'm showing you a haul of what I got, but I thought it might be fun to switch it up and show you a different version of what it's like to be a member of Thrive Market. And for us, we use the mobile app, but of course I also use the regular like website when I have the time, but a lot of times I'm just on my phone doing it. Most nights I'll just sit in bed and when we're ready to place an order, I'm just sitting in bed, just hitting place order. You know, it's so easy. We definitely have some favorites. We definitely get a lot of staples on there. So this is going to be a mix. The reason we love Thrive Market so much is because we save so much money. And I'll show you today as we're placing this order, it'll show you how much you save versus buying them in traditional stores. So I wanted to take you kind of behind the scenes of what it looks like. So... Here we go. So when I get to the main site here, typically we already have some things in our cart. So like right now we have four things and I only added like one or two of these. Okay, yeah, Tyler, my husband added them. He must have added the olive oil, which means we must be close to out of. This is what's crazy though. It's originally $32.49, it's over half off. Like that's incredible. And then I added these granola bars. I love these Cascadian Farms ones. And then Tyler loves these Smart Sweets, the Sweet Fish one. They're like really low. It's like three grams of net sugar. It's, it's crazy, but they're really, really tasty. So usually there's already some things in my cart, but other than like the things that are already in there that we've been adding as we go, I love looking at their new stuff. I'll typically just click new and just see. You know what I mean? I think it's just fun because there's always new things being launched like at any given time. Oh, and this is just such a mix. So I mentioned they have like dog stuff, beauty care, deodorant. And the thing for me is, you know, when I'm at a store that sells a lot of organic options and things like that, A, they're more expensive than this, but B, I just feel like they don't ever have as many options as what I have on Thrive Market and that's huge. So I see all of the brands I already know and love and then some and I learn about a lot of new brands. So yeah, they've got like hand soap, but then they even have like really convenient stuff like the organic 90 second rice we totally love that so I'm gonna go specifically new and food just to kind of see for fun what kinds of new things they have we oh see this is crazy we don't need this right now but the beyond beef we've had before and it's pretty good we do eat meat but we like to just switch it up from time to time and I might heart that because that's gonna be on a future order because I had no idea they sold that and that's pretty cool. And they even have the Beyond Meatballs, that's neat. But yeah, they now have all of these frozen options you can order. Oh my gosh, they have so much of that. I also hear a lot about the better half, like coffee creamer. Right now being pregnant, all I can handle right now is half and half, so I don't wanna mess with that, but in the future, I might. Rayos, oh my gosh. The other thing I like to look at is, first of all, just look at all of this. Gluten-free, paleo, raw, vegan, vegetarian, ketogenic, they have so many different options. You can sort it by brands. Like they really have everything covered. So I just think that's cool. But then you can also shop by aisle as you were seeing earlier, babies and kids, home, etc. So another thing I like to do is go to my buy it again page because that shows basically anything we've ever bought. And I love that because sometimes we'll run out of something and we don't add it in time. And then like a month has passed and I'm like, what was that one snack that Genevieve actually liked? You know, she's so picky as a toddler. For example, cauliflower stalks. She loves these things. So I'm gonna add that to my cart because I love them, but I know she loves them too. We already have the olive oil in there. We always get coffee. I might try to find a different kind though. We, we get the, these two just back and forth constantly. The whole bean organic coffee from Thrive Market. We love them. Also, these dark chocolate pretzel protein bars, there's 12 bars in there. These are <laughs> so good. Tyler and I were both eating one in the car on the way home the other day and we were like, these are delicious. So I wanna heart that because I don't think we need any yet, but I, that might be in my next order. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna buy another, these strawberry pineapples, is that the kind? No, no, they're all delicious, but the strawberry banana noca little packets for adults are so good. I have one this morning and I was like, these are my favorite quick thing to grab. Like it packs so many vitamins in there. They taste delicious and it'll just tide me over between like breakfast and lunch. You know what I mean? Or between lunch and dinner. Well, usually I have another snack in addition to that between lunch and dinner. And another thing, you guys recommended the dang Thai rice chips and sriracha spice. Y'all should have told me to buy like 10. So I bought one. Tyler and I sat and ate them in one sitting and he was like, these are the best thing ever. We need to get more. So I'm going to add, I might add three to my cart. I'm also packing some snacks for our hospital bag. When we eventually have this sweet baby that's just chilling in my stomach right now, I'm going to get three because I think one of those is going to go in my hospital bag. You guys already know how much I love the skinny dipped peanut butter, chocolate almonds. Those are next level, but I also recently tried the Lemon Bliss ones because you guys recommended it. They are so weird and so good. And if you like like lemon bars or like lemon 
cakes, you have to try these. They are next level. And, and Tyler was like, he we were eating some earlier today too. He was like, can you get more of those? Because I told him I was going to place an order today. So let's kind of get an idea of what's in our car. And then I actually have a little list here that I wrote down of a couple more things I needed to get. So we've got some snacks, those packets I wanted. Okay, the olive oil. So I did want to get coffee and I wanted to try something new just to switch it up because we do drink the same ones every day. I think we tried one of the equal exchange ones last time and it was really, really good. We need whole bean because of the coffee maker we use each day. Grinds it as you go, so it, it has to be whole bean. They've got some cold brew options. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of curious about this. The reviews seem to be pretty good. So let me try this coffee. Genevieve loves Z bars to the point where she loves them so much that she calls every kind of bar a Z bar. Like she does not understand that it's, but she really loves them and they're made for kids. They're Cliff Bar, but made for kids. Chocolate chip is definitely her favorite. So that might be what we go with. I'm seeing if there's anything else that stands out, but with her sticking to, by the way, my favorite, if you were curious, cause these are really good with coffee. The iced oatmeal cookie tastes like a freaking, <laughs> like an oatmeal cream pie. That's what it tastes like. It's so good and with coffee, delicious. So I think I'm just gonna get her the chocolate chip. This is gonna last us forever because there's like 18 in there. A lot of times we would buy like the little six packs and it doesn't cut it, it doesn't last. All right, so I just discovered again, like rediscovered the world of kind bars and I love nuts like that, like really nutty bars where it's a whole nut in there. <laughs> And I bought the dark chocolate nuts and sea salt bars and I posted about it on Instagram. And so many of you guys were like, Jessica, yeah, obviously those are delicious. How have you never had them? I was like, I probably had them a long time ago, but I just don't remember. So we are adding, that's a big daddy box. That's 12 bars. So definitely adding that. I know a couple of those I'm gonna pack in my hospital bag too. So, and the other thing I love just typing in Annie's because that brand is an amazing brand for kids snacks. We have people working on our siding right now, you guys. I waited all day to film this, you guys. <laughs> Here we are. But we had like Carpenter B problems, so I'm glad they're taking care of it. We actually just bought a couple of these in our last order, like the crispy snack bars. Those are so freaking good. But Cheddar Bunnies are always a must. She loves those. So add to cart. She likes the Annie's mac and cheese too, especially like these right here, where it's just like the microwavable. Those are so easy for a quick lunch or dinner for her in a pinch, like wow. So. Definitely adding that to cart. And I'm looking at my list. I think we need some rice. I was literally just thinking, what kind of rice did I buy last time that we liked? And I can see that this says buy it again. So that's the kind we're gonna get because I know we liked it. So looking at our cart here, my total is 120. Okay, a lot of these things, a lot of times I'll go through and be like, okay, did I get the right amount of what I wanted, first of all? And then I also think like, okay, I got big boxes of like Z bars we're not gonna have to buy for a while. Kind bars we're not gonna have to buy for a while. So that's nice. We're gonna be good on snacks for a while too. Olive oil, we're just always buying. But look at this, you're saving $43.10. And one thing that's really cool about Thrive Market too is that they do have a price match guarantee. So if you find one of these items in a store for cheaper, they will match it, which I think is so cool. So then you know that as a member, you're getting that guaranteed savings. I think that's neat. So this is great. Oh, I can select a free gift. And it ships pretty fast, by the way, too, if you were curious. Hmm. Uh, might be getting this hydrating cream. Well, Leda is one of my favorite brands. That's so cool. They usually have really good free gifts. And by the way, I know I'm like droning on and on with this grocery grocery order, but I wanted to show you too. If you go to like babies and kids and like Bath and Body, a lot of times we'll buy the lotions and body washes and stuff we use for Genevieve and that we will use for this little girl on here. They have amazing brands of like SPF and stuff like that. So that I love and I love that you can get those kinds of things on here. So that's what I mean by it feels like an all in one place. I can get pretty much what I need and they're from really good reputable brands all together in one order from Thrive Market. So another thing we love about Thrive Market in why, you know, we order, once or twice a month, like I said, is that they ship all orders over $49. They ship for free, which is incredible. So you're not paying for shipping most of the time. I just don't order anything until I get to that $49 threshold. But then on top of that, they ship from a zero waste warehouse with carbon neutral shipping, which is so freaking cool. Most of the packaging that's in there to kind of pad it is all recyclable. So it goes straight into our recycling bin, which is amazing. So 
I love that. So if you're interested in checking it out, they offer two different membership models. They have the monthly membership plan where it's $9.95 a month and you know you can place as many orders you want in that month. Or they have the annual membership, which is the one we pay for, where it's $59.95 for the year, but that breaks down to about $5 a month. So again, I showed you I'm saving like over $40 on this order alone. It pays for itself paying that $5 a month. It totally pays for itself. And this is just one of our typically two orders. So we love it. My husband really, really likes it. I love when I see that he's added stuff to the cart because it makes my job easier too. So if you want to check it out, you can click the link in my description box, which is thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. And right now they're offering $110 worth of free groceries on your first order, which is amazing. So definitely a good time to join. Definitely a good time to check it out. I know you guys have heard me talk about them a lot this month, but it's just, it's something we use. And as this new baby joins us very, very soon, I'm really gonna lean on this for a lot of those kinds of things. It's just so convenient. I can order them. I know they're gonna be here quickly and it's good, good stuff. So thank you again, Thrive Market, for sponsoring this portion of the video. I need to check out. And of course now they're done <laughs> working over here. But only waited a few more minutes. All right, we are making some dinner. So I had mentioned, this cookbook, Everyday Dinners, I've got a thousand post-its in it right now. I bought it on Amazon kind of on a whim and went through and post-it noted the things I wanted to make. So we've made this pizza, pizza, before. And it was so unbelievably good that like, was it like last week that we had this puff pastry pizza? Yeah. We're already making it again. We're like, whatever. But I don't feel too badly about it because it's got zucchini all over it, like a ton of zucchini. And then of course cheese and puff pastry, but it's so easy. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's like literally the easiest thing in the world. But so far I've only made a couple recipes out of here and they've been really good and definitely very different. But at least the ones I flagged were pretty easy. And I think that's the idea is that they're, yeah, it says real life recipes to set your family up for a week of success. So anyway, let's make this pizza. <laughs> all right, so we've got some puff pastry sheets here thawed and laid out we double the recipe because this would otherwise be the whole thing and we were like mm, we want leftovers this time but i also cut up zucchini so that it's currently we got to like kind of dry them off but you cut up the zucchini really small that's pretty much all the prep you do literally you're supposed to use freshly grated mozzarella i mean in a pinch you know this is way faster however the first time we made it we did actually grate the mozzarella ourselves and you just basically spread this all over again it only calls for like half a cup or whatever i use like a full cup actually no this is like two cups since we're doubling it because we like it nice and cheesy but it said leave like a border around the edge so then you just i've kind of pat dried the zucchini you just kind of set them all over the place actually might have too much zucchini, but mm, that's okay. I love zucchini so much. And I was trying to cut them thin, but I am not very good at that. So some are really thin and some are thick. Oh well. It's funny that I like zucchini so much though, because I hate cucumber. And they're such similar, I mean, obviously they taste totally different, but they're such similar things, you know? Okay, so I bought two zucchini and that might've been way too much for this. I'll replace some of the crazy thick ones, I think. Any other really thick ones? These all look pretty good. So you do some salt all over it. Pepper, we like a lot of pepper. And one of my favorite ingredients ever, garlic powder. We both love garlic, so we don't mind being heavy handed with it a little bit, you know? You could totally do probably garlic cloves too, and it'd be really good, like minced garlic. So I just added another row because I realized the puff pastry kind of goes out farther. So then you crumble goat cheese on it. I'm actually pregnant and you're not supposed to have goat cheese, but this is pasteurized goat cheese, so we should be good. That was, I think, the main issue with it. So we just gotta crumble this. <laughs> Super messy, but that's what we're gonna do. And again, it called for, I think, four ounces. I bought eight ounces. Honestly, that's all I could find at the store anyway, so it just worked out that I doubled the goat cheese amount. But this is so good. And we also, another thing that's not in the recipe that we did last time, drizzle it with honey. Not before you cook it, but, uh, well, you probably could, but drizzle it with honey when you're eating it. It is next level truly next level and we also had some ricotta <laughs> listen we love cheese and we like i love ricotta so having a little bit of that on this too cold with the warm pizza there's something about that combo to me that is so delicious pinocchio is watching me so closely he's like oh my gosh i feel like this is a lot but what am i gonna do with this little bit of goat cheese i might as well just use it you know goat cheese was something i didn't really like until i was an adult like i didn't appreciate like most things so you also do some 
lemon zest. I had this realization just now. I always make the le like zest the lemon on the side, like on my cutting board, and then try to bring it over. I'm like, why don't I just zest it right onto the thing I'm putting it in? Because I don't need to measure it, you know, that's all. <laughs> Very important realization for me in my life though. I definitely think the lemon zest is really, really good on this. So if you have a lemon on hand, I think it actually does make a difference. Oh, that's why. <laughs> you just need to tap it off more often. And the last thing is some red pepper flakes. I don't go too crazy because I don't love spice. My husband does though, but it is good on it. Spice is a nice, oh, some of those bites are gonna be interesting. Okay, that's it. Into the oven it goes. Here she is in all her glory, so delicious. You guys, if you like these kinds of flavors, you will love it. And like I said, drizzle it with honey. And if you also like ricotta, throw some ricotta on it. It's delicious. Good morning, it is Wednesday. So I just got back from an early morning chiropractic appointment. And I've kind of talked about this. I had never seen a chiropractor in my life <laughs> ever until postpartum with Genevieve because I was having a lot of issues. Long story short, I was having hip issues, blah, blah, blah. I saw some of a difference and that was good, but I don't know. I just wasn't totally sold. So I went to get this breech baby there. Okay. <laughs> some of you guys know all this and some of you guys don't uh, from what I've like shared, but basically when you have a baby that's breech, there are supposedly things that a chiropractor can do to help open up that area, open up your hips, open up your pelvis, relax your ligaments so that the baby has I guess literally more room to flip, the ability to flip. Again, I am a skeptic by nature. <laughs> and so I went to this one that had pretty good reviews online and it was a lovely office, but it was just far away and I was needing to come back a lot. I broke up with them and then <laughs> I just recently started seeing this one closer to us who her reviews online for what's called the Webster technique are like amazing, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, this baby has flipped. <laughs> Now the reality is it could have, maybe it would have just happened on its own and I'll never know. And the other reality is this baby could flip back. I mean, we still got three weeks the time I'm filming this. It's much closer now that you're watching this. Anyway, who knows? But it's just kind of one of those things that I'm like, well, I'll never know, but I, I want to keep this train rolling. So I'm gonna, I have my appointment tomorrow for an ultrasound and we'll see if she's actually flipped. All sides point to the fact that she has, I'm almost, 85, 90% positive she has. But that aside, we'll know for sure tomorrow with the ultrasound and we'll just see what the next few weeks bring. Cause again, babies, as my doctor continually reminds me, babies have a mind of their own and they're gonna do whatever they want. So <laughs> we'll just, we'll just see what happens. But that's a good feeling. And at least I don't feel like I've like wasted my time. And also she's reminded me of certain things. Like I'm really bad about crossing my left leg over and I have all kinds of left hip pain and issues. And so she's been working on that a lot. And she just knew. She was like, you cross your legs, don't you? I was like, yes. She was like, you cross your left leg over. I was like, yes, I do. She was like, you have to stop. I'm like, all right, fine. It's like a habit that I've had for like, oh, 30 years, but I'll try to break it. But I'm sure she's right that, I mean, that's not helping the situation at all. So anyway, that's all. A little update on that. I'm sure some of you guys are interested and some of you guys are not, but I feel like I have to tell someone. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Thursday. Uh, we got something new in the mail. Not in the mail, you know what I mean, delivered. Let me show you. Ignoring the mess all around, we got a new mattress and it is a king size mattress. And I cannot remember for the life of me if I vlogged about this, how we were planning on doing it. I think I did. So we have a queen. We love this mattress. We bought this queen and it's the exact same mattress. We loved it so much. It has insane reviews for good reason. It fixed both of our like back pains we'd been having from the mattress we were sleeping on when we first got married. But we only got the queen because we'd already had this queen bed frame when we first got married with our old mattress. And boy, do I regret not just upgrading then to a king size because here we are and sometimes we have a toddler jumping into bed with us and it would just be nice to have more space. So enter the... Uh, <laughs> mattress they delivered it and they call it white glove delivery and when they delivered this one originally they really like get it in right and they take all the wrapping with them well this time we were like hey we don't have the bed frame yet so can you guys just <laughs> set it over there <laughs> they were like okay so uh our bed frame is coming soon i want to say it's coming in like a week and a half and our friend made a very good point because we were telling them about how we were getting a new mattress and we were like we don't know like do we just 
put we're gonna put this bed in storage until she's just a little older and then use it for her but our friend brought up you know you might want to wait and not put it on the floor because if i do end up having a c-section like getting onto a mattress on the floor and then getting up like if we went into labor before we ever got the bed frame would be really difficult i'm like that's a good point so we're like all right we'll wait <laughs> we'll wait so the mattress is just gonna sit there <laughs> until we get the bed frame hopefully it will come well before the baby so we can get it all together before then we'll just see how it all works out but i'm so excited i was literally like laying myself kind of against it to see like oh my gosh we're gonna have so much room <laughs> we just passed the guy walking with a skateboard in his hand and i'm like why aren't you riding it skate Do you, man does he you just not know skate. how does he just carry it around so he look cool <laughs> like i don't know he just doesn't know how to ride it this is a very nice sidewalk so there's no reason not to ride it on yeah the it's like a super smooth just walking with a skateboard <laughs> Just looks cool. By the way, I was trying to film today, and in the video, I'm trying to think if that video would be up yet or not, but either way, in the video, that dude that just drives around, and I'm pretty sure his full-time job is just to blast music all day long from his car. Was it Tuesday at 10 a.m.? Yeah, he's out there. Is it Thursday at 8 p.m.? Yep, he's out there all over the metropolitan area. Anyway, so that was fun. I literally had to stop for like so. five minutes at a time. He would like park and just blare a full song. Song would end, then he'd leave. I'm like, gosh. Anyway. Uh, we're heading to the doctor for our 36 weeks checkup. Why couldn't I say that? And we're getting an ultrasound to see if she is no longer breech, which we're pretty sure she's not. So we think. So we think. And so does the chiropractor. So we are going to find out for sure. And again, at least for now, <clears throat> that's it. I was going to say flip around again. You never know. You never know. But it'll be, it'll be nice to have some confirmation of that and see how she's doing, see how she's growing and all that jazz we're in the home stretch also this is our 36 week appointment but we are actually almost 37 weeks we have like two days shy so it's just the way that the scheduling worked but anyway so that is what we're off to do and i'm excited and a little anxious <laughs> what is up it is saturday did i vlog at all yesterday I'm not sure. So after the doctor's appointment, which I think is maybe the last thing we vlogged about, we needed some time. Sweet baby girl is still a breach. And so we just needed time to think through what our options are, think through what our plan is, get back in touch with my doctor and get that stuff squared away. So basically we've decided to go ahead and try to have her manually turn him. Her success rate's like 50%. So it either works or it doesn't, you know, and we figure it's worth, it's worth trying and we'll take it as a sign that if it doesn't work that just means it's not the way it's supposed to be and so at that point we would schedule a c-section at 39 weeks we are a little over 37 weeks right now which means everything so soon <laughs> and so i was i was thinking i'm like this might be the last vlog we do um i also just got out of the shower it's not oily hair it's wet wet clean hair it's, if it was that oily I hope you guys would give me a talking to in the comments. That'd be disgusting. <laughs> anyway, I'm also holding you on top of like boxes of light bulbs because we literally have one, two, three light bulbs that all went out within the same day. What is that? Anyway, also the quality is weird because my vlogging camera is like in our car in the garage. Don't ask. It, it, oh, that's right. It was in there from when I vlogged last time and I haven't even taken it inside. Anyway, so that's kind of the status of where we've been. You didn't notice because the vlog just continued on, but you know what I mean? That's the plan. We'll just see. So I, uh, oh, totally off topic. I wanna show you guys something I just got on Amazon that I'm curious about. And it was like 10 bucks. Let me show you. I'm watching some Andrea Matigliano. So it's from AOA, which is the same brand you can buy on like Shop Miss A. And they are the brand that makes the sponges I love, like so much, the beauty sponges that are like a dollar. So this was like around 10 bucks. I needed a cleansing balm. And so I figured this is worth a shot. I haven't even opened it. So we've got it open here. It looks awfully similar to what I was just using up, the Pharmacy Green Clean. Got just a little bit left, but this doesn't really have a noticeable smell, which is really nice. Especially if you're someone, you know, that you don't want any fragrance in your skincare. It's got a very similar texture. So we'll have to try it. I don't need to try it right now because obviously I don't have any makeup on. <laughs> But uh, I'm, I'm curious to try it. Let me know if you already have. I mean, we'll see this. It came with a little scooper duper. I guess I'll just set it right in there. That's what I was doing with the pharmacy stuff and it's no big deal. But anyway, I kind of like the way the packaging looks. Is that weird? Why is that cute to me? All right, well, I got to finish this here because the clips were all like disjointed and messed up when I tried to get them off my phone. These last, the last clip anyway. So, hey, good news is update on that makeup remover I just showed. Used it last night worked really well and it's you know 10 ish dollars 
And a lot of my favorites are more expensive than that. And you just go through it so fast. So I'm hoping I'll keep using it, but I'm hoping I continue to like it. So far, so good. No scent, which I appreciate. That could be great to have like as a go-to. And it's nice that I can just order it on Amazon. So I'll link it below if you're curious about it too. But uh, those are the haps. This may be the last vlog you see of me before the baby. It also might not. We're just gonna see. I'm sitting on a yoga yoga ball right now just rolling around <laughs> anyway but I love you guys thank you so much for watching all the way to the end again if you want to try out Thrive Market you can get $110 worth of free groceries which is amazing with my link below it's thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun thank you Thrive Market for sponsoring a portion of this video I love you guys I'll see you in the next one bye